Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bat Prototype, and today we are covering, well, anything having to do with paper, <laughs> and also the enchanting table. So let's start with, well, paper. <laughs> what you'll need, and just ignore that stuff, um, is sugar cane, and to make the bookshelves you'll need for the enchanting table set up, you absolutely need a ton of this. <laughs> uh, but you need three in a row and that will create one piece of paper. Now to create a book you need three pieces of paper and one leather. Again you'll need a bunch of leather for the bookshelves. One other thing I thought of last minute is the book and quill which is useful in the fact you can write in it. Um, it's good if if you're starting like a server and want to hand out rules automatically a lot of people use these for that or to keep track of like a guild information but single player it's not super useful <laughs> but to make this you need a book of course an ink sack for obviously the quill part and the quill would be the feather now moving on to bookshelves as you can see these are six bookshelves as an example of how they would look uh, you would need six pieces of plank wood and it doesn't matter what kind uh, surrounding in the middle three books and that creates the bookshelves and though not a book itself this enchanting table that if you get close it opens up and it follows you around but if you back off it will close. How you make this it's very pricey um, and you have to have a diamond pickaxe to do this is four obsidian, two diamond, and a book and it's created. Now this is what you would want your enchanting area to look like. As you can see there's six bookshelves on each side set up as so. You can see the little ruins flying into the book it's kind of a neat thing and again it'll pretty much stop when you walk away uh, but you open it and there are two slots one for a weapon of sorts or uh, any tool any armor I think that's about it <laughs> and it'll give you these lovely options now as you can see they cost different amounts of experience 5, 15, and 30 but also you need to have lapis lazuli to purchase this and obviously one lapis, two lapis, three lapis and I click that and ta-da it's enchanted with some lovely little effects um, be careful on fixing your armor or how you do it because you can potentially lose those effects um, depending if you use the anvil or, or not and with the effects added it will cost significantly more experience to fix them fun times but this is very useful for like pickaxes you can get fortune um, which will give you say if you hit a diamond block and it usually would drop two you could get like four or five extra it's very useful in that way uh, shovels can get silk touch so you can pick up grass blocks or mycelium blocks without them turning into dirt um, a lot of them efficiency makes it faster unbreaking is self-explanatory uh, looting it, you get potentially more chances for loot to drop from mobs with the swords, you can enchant your fishing pole, you can uh, with like your armor, unbreaking obviously is the best, but you can get like protection from like projectiles or fire damage, a bunch of stuff. It's very very useful but it does take time to create a in essence a library with an enchanting table uh, but I highly recommend it if you have the time and energy to collect all the goodies you need <laughs> so hopefully that helped anybody looking to make an enchanting table and I'll talk to you guys later bye